Hello, yogis. Welcome to Happy Yoga Life Channel. Please grab a mat. Let's start the practice. Om Om Namaste. Welcome to today's yoga lesson. So today we will work on our spine, and we will also work on building strength. So the strength for our lower back,、um, and as well as upper back. All right. Let's get ready. Just take an easy cross. Sit on your mat and gently close your eyes. Let your palms facing up. Let's do a few breaths together. So today's intention is to let go. So let go is a very easy concept, very difficult practice. So first, let's feeling that comfort and ease at your sit sitting. Either you're sitting just on the mat or on the blanket. However you sit, let go of all the control of the form you like to sit, or your expectation. Of how it should be. Just let go. Take a deep inhale, and then open your mouth and sigh it out. Let go of all that stress. Take another one. Inhale. And then side out with the audible sound. <sighs> Now take another one. So much air into your lungs, and then on top of your inhale, hold it, hold it on top, and then open your mouth, side out, and relax your shoulders, relax your chest, relax your belly, completely let go all the tension. And、do a couple more if you feel like so. When you finish, return to your normal breathing. And let's take ten breaths together. With a controlled inhale and exhale, so that will be a yogic breathing. Inhale from the belly to the chest to the collarbone, and then exhale from the collarbone, chest, and then to belly. So do that four counts. Inhale and four counts. Exhale. Now exhale all out. Inhale, one, two. Three, four. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Four complete round of breath like this. Slightly constrict your throat. 
make that ujjayi ocean sound. Make your inhale and exhale as even as possible. And observe that split of moment in the transition between inhale and exhale. Two more complete rounds. When you finish, come back to your normal breathing. Relax your face. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Relax your belly. Relax your hips. Relax your thighs. Relax your knees and ankles. Relax your feet. Just let go all the tension in your body. Observe your mind. Seeing the thoughts come in and goes out. Let them flow. Let go of the control of getting them out. Even the desire of driven them out is a desire, is a control. So just observe without any force. Now put palms together in front of your heart. Let's recite this mantra as an intention. I let go. So fill in the blank after let go. Make that your intention. I let go. I let go. I let go. Good. So remember your intention for today's practice. Whatever you intend to let go, keep that in mind during the practice. Now gently rub your palms together. Now speed up rubbing the palms. Generate some heat. It's kind of cold. And then once you have heat in between your palms, put your palms onto your face, cover your eyes. Open and close your eyes with inside of your palms. Feeling that gentle energy beaming from your palms to your eyes. Now close your eyes, rub your palms together again. And then cover your eyes again. Open, close your eyes inside the palms. Now keep your eyes open and lightly float your palms away, looking at the center of your palms. Just look at the center of your palms and then palms gently come down to your knees. All right. So let's start. Uh, if you sit cross legs, let's change the crossing of the legs. We'll be sitting here for a little bit of stretch. So inhale, keep your hands wide open. 
and exhale right hand on the mat just slide it out and put your left hand to the sky and that's it and feeling that the left side of your torso get a bit of stretch so inhale reach your left fingertips to the ceiling exhale come back to center and the left hand down slide it out right hand up inhale stretch your right hand to the ceiling exhale right hand down inhale left hand up so we'll do that with the breath now do it at your own pace let it flow as if you are just dancing with your arms and feel and observe the side torso your breath is smooth and the feeling that inhale when you rise and exhale when you go toward the earth inhale when you rise change sides exhale go toward the earth and last time when your right hand on the mat stay there now tilt your torso to the right even more and bend your right elbow maybe on the floor observe your left hip it might come off the floor then just release your left hip let it be heavy and maybe look up to the ceiling or look down to your right elbow whichever makes your neck feeling comfortable and really intentionally let go of that control of your left hip let it be drawn to the earth next inhale press your right hand and come to change sides exhale left hand down and turn to your left like bend to your left and then bend your left elbow maybe onto the floor look up to the ceiling or look down to your left elbow whichever you choose and let go of that control on the right hip let it draw to the earth And next inhale come to the center both hands to the ceiling exhale fold forward and then put your fingertips on the floor walk your fingertips forward melt your chest to the floor just folding from the hips so not rounding your spine keep your spine straight uh, slightly tuck your chin to chest so keep the back of your neck aligned with the spine inhale exhale melt your chest to the floor inhale feeling your rib cage open back of your shoulder blades away from each other exhale melt your chest to the floor once more inhale exhale look toward your fingertips walk your ten fingertips to the right so walk as far as you can draw a really big circle and to the right as far as right you can be and then melt your chest to the right thigh and then let your head rest between your elbows observe your left hip if you feel more comfortable let your palms be grounded on the floor you can even stack your palms together left palm on top of the back of your right hand take one more deep inhale observe your left side of the rib cage and left wrist and exhale completely push all the air out of your lungs and then inhale 
release your palms from each other, look up, come to fingertips, walk your fingertips toward the left. Draw this really big circle. So melt your chest to the floor as far as you can go. Go to the left. Observe your sensation from left side of the rib cage going toward the right side of your rib cage. And then once you get there, melt your chest to the left thigh. And your forehead between your elbows. If you want to put your both hands, palms onto the floor, and then you can also stack your right palm on top of the back of left hand. On your inhale, observe the left side of your rib cage, the right side of your rib cage. Exhale, let go of your right hip. One more complete inhale. Exhale, completely reach. And then release your palms from each other. Come to fingertips again. Walk the fingertips slowly back to center. Keep your spine straight, chest toward the earth. And once you get to the center, continue to melt your chest toward the earth. Look toward your fingertips. Take three more deep breaths here, feeling the expansion of your rib cage. And on the exhale, let your hips drawn to the earth. Let them be heavy. Next, inhale, walk your fingertips back toward your torso. Make it slow and gentle. And then keep walking your fingertips behind your buttocks. Continue to be on, stay on the fingertips. Then lift your chest toward the ceiling. And smile. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, let your hip be heavy. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, let your hips be heavy. One last inhale. Feeling your shoulders even opening. And then exhale, walk your fingertips back to center. Now, next inhale, reach your both hands to the ceiling, exhale. Turn your chest to the right, we do easy body twist. Left hand on right thigh, right hand behind your buttocks. Just gentle twist. During the twist, exhale more completely. Next, inhale, both hands back to center, reach out to the sky. Exhale, turn to the left. Right hand on left knee, left hand behind the buttocks. Next, inhale, both hands back to center, to the ceiling. Exhale, turn to the right again. This time, be more mindful. Keep your spine really straight, reaching your crown to the ceiling on the inhale. Exhale, gently twist to the right, just a little more. Observe your breath. Maybe it's harder to inhale in a twist. And then exhale completely. Let that twist happen. Next, inhale, both hands back to the center, to the ceiling. Exhale, turn to the left. Right hand on left thigh. Left hand behind the buttocks, turn to the left. 
Inhale, sit tall. Reach your crown to the sky. Exhale, turn to the left. Look over to your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Reach both hands to the sky. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Just close your eyes for a moment. And recite your mantra, your sankalpa intention for today's practice. I let go of. I let go of. I let go of. Now release your hands, open your eyes, and come to hands and knees. So let's do uh, five cat and cows with very conscious breath. So keep your knees hip width apart, hands directly under the shoulders. You can tuck the toes or untuck the toes, whichever you prefer. Now inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone around your lower back, relax your head. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around your lower back and relax your head. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Observe your spine in the space in the front and the space in the back. Make your inhale full and exhale complete. And then we need a neutral spine. And then inhale, just raise your right arm. Exhale, right arm down. We do very gentle. Inhale, raise your left arm. Exhale, left arm down. Four more like this. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Two more. We meet at all fours. Now wiggle your tail left and right. So make it like really loosen up your spine, especially lower back. Now next time when your tail goes to the left, when your buttocks go to the left, look to the right. Take one conscious breath, inhale. Exhale, let your butt go to the left even more. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let your butt go to the right and look to the left. Inhale fully. Exhale, let your butt go to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, let your butt go to the left to look to the right. Inhale, observe your left hip. Exhale, let your left hip sink even lower. Next, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let your butt go to the right, look to the left. Inhale, observe your right hip. Exhale, let your right hip fall even further toward the earth. Inhale, back to center. Now inhale, right hand up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, right hand under the left. Walk your left hand over your head. Right shoulder, right ear on the floor. Look toward the ceiling. Gentle wiggle your butt. Observe the sensation in your body. And then stop feeling that stillness.
Observe if you're holding anything, relax it. Exhale every breath completely. Feeling your belly button goes toward the spine kind of complete. And observe your sensations. And then put your left palm in front of your face, press into it, lift your right hand to the sky, exhale, right hand down. So change sides, inhale, lift your left arm to the sky, exhale, left arm under the right, left shoulder, left ear on the floor, walk your right fingertips over your head, and look up to the ceiling if you can. Can wiggle your butt? Tiny wiggle, left and right. Find your sweetest spot and then enjoy the stillness. Make your exhale complete in every breath. And observe the sensations when you exhale. And slowly put your right palm in front of your face. Press into it and then inhale, lift your left palm to the ceiling. Exhale, left palm down. Now do five more cat and a cow um, at your own pace. Child's pose. When you finish all five rounds, push to child's pose. Extend your arms long and chest melt to the floor, forehead on the floor. Buttocks toward your heels. Now look forward to your, between your arms and slide your palms forward. Keep your chest really low on the floor and put your forearm on the floor and chest really close to the floor. Slide forward to Sphinx. Very nice. And then press the palm into the floor, elbows onto the floor. Lift your chest forward. Lift your crown toward the sky. And press into the top of your feet, into the floor. Engage the buttocks. Engage your core. We're building the strength for the lower back. And now slowly lift your elbows off the floor for two inches. And exhale, lower down. Walk your palms a little further, like an inch further, and then lift your elbow to off the floor again. Exhale down. So do that five more times. Inhale, lift, and keep your chest forward. Exhale down with a very gentle, nice control of the breath. Continue to tighten your buttocks, tighten your thighs, press the top of your feet to the floor. This is a very active pose. When you finish, come back to Sphinx pose and then stack your forearms together, relax your forehead onto the floor. Now wiggle your butt left and right. So we'll release some tension, just build because we were building muscle strength for our lower lower back and now just stay here for a moment a 
Now raise your head and put palms under your shoulders. But we will lift the palms and do a few of this inhale, exhale. So inhale, lift the palms, peel your chest off, exhale, forehead on the floor. So do that uh, 10 times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. For the next five, open your wings. Let your arms be wide. And now on the inhale, lift your legs as well. Exhale, go down. Inhale, up. Lift your legs and your arms. Last two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now put your left side of face on the floor, arms along your body, just rest. Completely relax. And turn your face to the left, so right face on the floor. And turn your face to the floor. We're gonna do the bow pose. So keep your forehead on the floor first, bend your knees one at a time, and then catch your ankles with your hands. Catch your ankles with your hands. So if you do have uh, tighter uh, thighs, you can open your knees a bit wider. So that's a little easier to catch your ankles with your hands. And then on the inhale, peel your chest off the floor, forehead off the floor. Your thighs are still on the floor and exhale down. And next inhale, peel your chest off the floor and your thighs off the floor to a bow pose. And just stay here for 10 breaths. It's a very good chest opener. Slightly tuck your chin to the chest so the back of your neck is aligned with your spine, but it's a back bend. And it opens your shoulders as well. And on the inhale, lift your knees off the floor even higher. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now lower down your thighs and then roll to your right side. Keep your hands uh, still on your ankles. Roll to your right side and stay here for two breaths. And then come back to center and then roll to the left side. Feeling that chest opening. And it's also a shoulder stretch. And then roll back to center. Forehead on the floor, release your feet and just rest your arms on the floor. Left cheek on the floor, rest. You can wiggle your butt. Release some tension. And then right cheek on the floor, change sides. And then come back to center, put palms under the shoulders, tuck the toes. And push yourself up and back to downward dog. So downward dog is also very good for uh, back, lower back release. So now just step your dog. It's like walk your dog. Push your 
palms into the mat, lengthen your spine. Now make it a little more dynamic, whereas you every exhale really reach your one heel toward the floor. And on the inhale, it's like riding a bicycle, come up and then exhale, go down. Nice. And next inhale, put your big toes together. Bend your knees slightly and then tilt your sit bones to the sky. Just lengthen your spine a little more. And wrap your shoulders so that your, your shoulder blades are going away from each other, not collapsing toward each other. One more inhale. Exhale, look forward, bend your knees even more and step your feet toward your hands. Your feet are hip distance apart. Just relax here for forward fold. Let your head dangle. Bend your knees as much as you can to feel that relaxation of letting go. Not not your head. Shake, shake your head. Now put your fingertips on the floor. If they're on the floor, walk them to the right. So just turn your torso to the right and feeling the left torso expansion on the inhale. Exhale, let go. And then inhale, walk your fingertips to the center and then to the left. Sense your left side of the torso. Inhale back to center and to the right once more. Inhale back to center and then to the left once more. Inhale back to center and just exhale completely let go. Bend your knees and slowly run up on your inhale. Come up to Tadasana, mountain pose. When your head come up, roll your shoulders up and back three times. Inhale, arms wide open, hands up to the sky. Stretch up, lengthen. Exhale, hands in front of the heart center. Close your eyes. And recite your Sankalpa today. I let go of, I let go of, I let go of. Now gently open your eyes. Inhale, arms wide open, hands up to the sky. And slightly bend back. Maybe your palms together. Just really stretch and lift your fingertips to the sky. And exhale, palm center line, go down to forward fold. Inhale, hands to chains, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step your right foot back, right knee down. Exhale here. Inhale, raise your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back to high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left, left knee down. Exhale here. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot back to high plank. 
Inhale here. Exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Bend knees, look forward, step forward, to forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise, arms wide open, hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands down in front of heart. Inhale, arms wide open, hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step your right foot back, right knee down. Exhale, here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back to high plank. Now we stay at high plank for five breaths. Really engage your all the body as a plank. Very nice. Take your ujjayi breath. Push into your palms like you're pushing the floor away from yourself. Tuck your belly button in toward the spine to engage the core. Tighten your butt muscles. For the next exhale, lower down to low plank or you can go to knees, chest, chin. Inhale to Low cobra or upward dog. Now stay at upward dog. Keep your chest forward, crown toward the sky. Press into the back of your feet. So top of your feet on the floor, press into it. Tighten your butt muscles. Very nice. Engage your core. And then exhale, flip your toes. Push to downward dog. Inhale, right leg forward. Left knee down. Exhale here. Now we do that three times. Inhale, raise your right, raise your arm to the sky. Slightly bend back. Exhale, hands down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Step your right foot back to a high plank. Now stay here for five breaths. Use your ujjayi breath. Very nice. And the next exhale to low plank or do knees, chest, chin. And then inhale, low cobra or upward dog. Now stay upward dog for five breaths. So keep your chest forward, push into your all the fingertips, not just your wrist. Push into the top of your feet. Tuck your belly button to the spine. Engage your core. Next, exhale, flip the toes to downward dog. Now we stay in downward dog for five breaths. You can bend your knees as much as you can. You need keep your spine straight, tilt your sit bones to the sky. Relax your head. No, not your head. Now look forward, bend your knees, step or jump forward to halfway up. Fingertips on the floor or on the chin, on the shin bone. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, bend your knees, arms wide open, hands up to the sky. Reach to the sky. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Feel your heartbeat.
Just remember what you want to let go of. And then gently release your hands, open your eyes, step your right foot to the white edge, white edge of the mat. So we'll do a few white leg twist. That's very good for the lower back. And then hands on the hips. Now fold forward from the hips. Keep your spine straight. And then once your spine is parallel to the floor, let your hands on the floor, fingertips on the floor. Now put your left hand in between, just directly under the face. Inhale, right, raise your right hand to the ceiling. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, raise your left hand. So do that four more times. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand down. So when you do this, observe your inner thigh, the sensation of your body change from left and right. Observe your lower back. And then we all meet both hands on the floor. Now walk your fingertips to your right hand, grab the right ankle. Now turn your belly chest to the right thigh and melt your chest to the right knee, forehead to the right knee. This is a side bend. Take one deep inhale, feeling your side ribs, the left side of the rib cage, as well as your right hamstring and then release your hands from the right ankle walk the fingertips to the left as you walk notice the sensation change from the right hamstring to the left hamstring and then grab the left ankle turn belly chest to the left side and forehead to the left knee Next, inhale, release your hands from the ankles, walk fingertips back to center. And then on the inhale, raise your right arm to the sky, stay here. You can continue to stay here or you can wrap your right arm behind your right, uh, behind your back, catch the left thigh and look toward the ceiling, get that twist. Observe your left inner thigh, left hamstring, as well as your lower back. And then gently unwind and lower down your right hand to the floor. Now inhale, left arm to the sky. If you wish, wrap your left arm behind your back, catch the right thigh, and look up to the ceiling. Notice if there's any difference between your left side and the right side. And slowly unwind your arm and lower down your left hand. Bend your knees slightly, zigzag your feet toward each other. A little wider than your hips and lower down your hips with coming to yogic squat. So palms together in front of the heart. Point your tailbone toward the earth and then lengthen your spine. Keep your crown toward the sky. And close your eyes.
Let go of any muscle tension. And then open your eyes. If you wish, we can go from here to the crow pose. Put your palms forward. If you don't wish to get crow pose, just lie down on your mat. So take a um, few moments. If you're on crow pose, then get your knees toward the upper arm. And then slightly just lean forward. Slowly lift one foot at a time. Continue to breathe. And then slowly come down. Go to the back. And we'll just uh, take the last few moments for some bridge pose. Let's do twist. Twist is really good for the lower back. So hold your knees toward the chest gently. Just Rotate a few times, massage the sacrum. And then keep your knees together, let it go to the right. And then extend arm to the left, look toward the left. Simply stay here. If you wish to have a little more shoulder stretch, bend your left elbow. Feeling just a tiny bit more stretch on the left upper shoulder. And everyone's a bit different, so experiment with your body. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Get your knees together. Let your knees fall to the left. And then look to the right. Extend your right arm out. Your left hand can be on the right thigh. And then if you wish, bend your right elbow to get a little more stretch on the upper right shoulder. And then slowly come back to center. And if you do have a block, use a block, we'll do a supported bridge. And on the inhale, lift your pelvis to the ceiling and use the uh, mid, uh, mid height under the sacrum. Simply rest your arms along your body, palms facing up. This is a good lower back support and gentle back bend. Slightly tuck your chin to the chest to relax the back of your neck. Let your hips be heavy. If you're fine, then lengthen and straighten your leg one at a time. This is a very strong pose. Let your feet fall away from each other. This is what we call Golden Gate Bridge. I'm not sure who invented this. Take a few gentle and a long breath. 
Every inhale, feeling the expansion of your front hip. Every exhale, let go of all the muscle tension. Now gently bend one knee at a time. Come to supported bridge again. Stay here for a few breaths. Next, inhale, lift your buttocks, get out of the block. Lower down the buttocks. Straighten your legs for Shavasana. Let your legs being apart. Arm resting alongside your body, palms facing up. Let your eyelids gently close. If you need any props for your Shavasana, please do so. It's the time for you to relax. It's the time for your body to be nourished. It's the time for your mind to be quiet. Just relax. Let go of any control. Let go of any expectation. Just let go. Please stay for five or ten more minutes for Shavasana. Be gentle when you come out. Thank you everyone for your presence. Thank you for practicing with me. Happy New Year. Namaste.